How y'all doing? We're doing a restoration on this crappy piece of junk. So it's missing paint everywhere. Um, I think it's, I, I can't remember, it's got a Briggs engine in it. I pulled the engine apart because um, it had no spark. It has spark now. Um, so we're, so there's going to be four parts. This is going to be the teardown. Um, so we're going to tear everything down. We're going to pull the wheels off. We're going to pop the motor off. We're going to pop this handle off. We're going to get everything separate so that all that's here is this carriage. Then in the next part, we're going to come over with the grinder and we're going to clean all this surface up and prep it for paint. Then in the third part, we're going to paint and clear coat. In the fourth part, everything gets put back together in the mower, you know, runs and, 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 and they're, they're, they're on. So we got to get that bolt off. Spinning, we are spinning. So my brother's just heading out. Alrighty, let's try this wheel. And the reason why I'm not using the impact is um, I want to make sure that I can get a proper. I don't want to, um, because this thing's old and, you know, you can't find parts for it anymore. I mean, I have my impact. I'm going to use my impact to pop the engine mounts out and, the, you know, that kind of thing, right? So that's what the engine mount would be used for. Um, here's the coil that is for it with the uh, kill wire. So we're going to have to uh, hook a kill switch to that. We're going to lay all the parts out separately. And then in the next part, we will come back with the grinder and peel all this um, flaky paint and, and, and get the surface prep for paint. Um, I'm going to do a coating, a primer first. I probably won't show that. I'll just throw the red paint over top. I might not do the primer because if I do a clear coat, I should be uh, pretty good. But if I get it down to bare metal, then we'll be real good. And then I just paint it and, and we'll put her back to how it looked way back when. So, I'm going to see, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these um, parts of this series. Um, thank you all for 100 subscribers, I know it's a little late, um, but uh, I've, I film, I've got 6 or 8 of those videos filmed, I can film 4 in a day, right, so that's kind of, and then I post every day, so that's kind of why you're seeing it. You know this far in advance so we're gonna lay the back side of this mower down um, unfortunately I'm unable to show you I'm just clamping this bolt at the back is all I'm doing um, okay just <clears throat> clamping this goes here Get this bolt popped out here I need a bolt tray, which is good. Um, here's the bolt tray. Here's an old piece of thingy for a snowblower. We'll pop these two clamps out and these two bolts, in, and we're good. Now, our bolt tray, we're just going to leave sitting right here because it's metal. And, I mean, it, it's able to sit there. Pop this out. So, Remember this, there's a lock washer on the inside and it's in the middle hole. Okay, then you got a wheel spacer. Okay, then you got your bolt. And here's one wheel, we'll clean it up. Um, and I will repeat all those process of pulling the wheels off. Then I'll come back and we'll get to buzzing off the blade and trying to pop this motor off. Anyway, I'll catch you guys then. So we've got all the wheels off. Next is to get the engine out. Looks like there's two engine mounts, maybe three or four. I got other, I got parts of this thing all around the base of this because I've taken the coil off so all the parts are here. 
they're going to be all put in this bolt tray. Um, so that's going to be nice. So we'll get, like, this all has to be cleaned up, right? And then we'll repaint the whole thing. And and I'll gift it to somebody. I'm not sure yet. we got to wipe all this down. Get it back to its shiny colors again. And, you know, all this gets wiped down over here. Clean the whole thing up. It's got grease on it. It's, it's a 3.5 horse motor. Um, this one isn't a flathead. Normally, they're flatheads. This one's not a flathead. Um, let's check the oil. I haven't even checked the oil. I don't even know if it's got any in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks actually fairly fairly new. Um, not too much wrong with it. That's pretty, uh, pretty surprising anyway. Alrighty. I was going to pop this flywheel off I think but um, I can put the motor aside and then we can clean the motor too in like part four whenever we get this cleaned um, as that's all kind of part of it so instead of me yibbering on here let's get this um, let's see if I can bust these bolts if they're 10 no they're 11s so I should be able to use my impact driver. I might have to throw uh, pop that carburetor off of there um, for part of it. I'm, I'm laying all the parts out and then um, you know we'll get it all stripped down, um, tear down. It'll probably be um, restoration part one uh, tear down and then restoration part two paint and blah 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 so on and so forth. So like I've said in past videos, this here is a Mastercraft socket set. It, it's great for all kinds of little um, projects. So today we're taking that bolt out. Got to figure out probably a 15, 30 seconds. Nope, it's a half. Okay. It's held on underneath. So. Gonna flip it over, but first I think I'm gonna pop off this handle, get the handle out of the way, and then um, I thought I was gonna. Yeah. Okay, well let's get this um, out of the way here. This is also Mastercrafted. This is just a, a flexible ratchet wrench. These are more expensive. I don't have a full set of these. I need to get a new set of wrenches. And my, I have a full set. It's just mix match straight between all of different kinds of wrenches. Okay. Um, let's get this ratchet portion on here. Sorry if my arm is in the way here. So yeah, this is, you know, I do do, if you're new here and you're watching this, I don't just do restorations. I do will it runs. I do helpful uh, tip videos. I do um, informational videos. Um, <clears throat> Uh, will it runs, um, you know, building stuff like I'm going to be, um, spoiler alert, but I'm going to be building a ski bike. I built one last year and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So this year, I'm... how am I missing that every time? This year I am doing it, um, with a wider ski because that's where I screwed up, um, last year. Was I didn't do a wide enough ski. Okay, something's wrong here. That's welded into place, that's why something's wrong. 
Okay, well it's not welded, but it's held into place on the back side, so this must just, there you go, pulls out. And then we'll pop this off underneath so that I don't paint that. Sorry, I gotta do this side. bumping it too bad. It's going to be a lot of turning this thing around. Which, hey, if you're up for that, then I'm up for that. Right? And now that I have, you know, over a hundred subscribers here on YouTube, I want quality content so that more of you will come and hang out with me. Because why not? That hurt. Yeah. I'm gonna just uh, use this side so I don't bust my finger. Because that uh, really does hurt. I don't care who you are. It would make for great content though. As it is, I already cut my finger, so I'm not up for doing it again. This is on there tight. It must have been fairly rusty. Um, so this thing is factory. It's got no changes made to it whatsoever. Um, so that's kind of, that's that, right? handle comes off we're gonna when we pull off the carb it's all gonna come off in one uh, go here so come on come on get out of there Well, I'll punch that out. Um, that's the issue with using, you know, as some people say, rusty junk is um, you get everything stuck. So to get this out, um, I just take this, pound it out. Now it's not going to work, so what I do is I put it over this way. And I hit it on the corner. There it is. There you go. I thought that's how that works. Now, this handle is off, and then the base, you know, is done with after that point. Okay. Um, this is all gonna come off, you know, in one swift motion. Good thing this just unhooks here very quick. Is, uh, you can just unhook this and now it's separate from the carb. So now all this is just one that has come off of here. This obviously is not going to be set on the table. It's going to be set aside until uh, reassemble day, which could be as long as, you know, a week. Um, depends on how long each section is okay I'm gonna try and grab now it's easier to you know maneuver it around here right because it's just a it's just a square basin so everything under here I want out um, these three bolts are for the cover okay and I'm not sure what else I know I have one to go to this coil which Hey, I, I know I have bolts to go into these coils, so that's no problem. Um, wood. That's going to be fixed. Okay. Let's see what it takes to pop this carburetor off so that I can get to that final mounting bracket underneath. It'll probably be this half inch again. 
that's one thing with these old engines is they're all the same. Uh, um, <laughs> you know, they're not 10 mils and and five eight or uh, 10 mils and two mils and no, they're they're you know five sixteenths a quarter a half. They're measured differently, which is which can be to some people a bad thing. Now this is loose. There is a bushing that goes in there, so remember that. The bushing goes between the carb and the thingy here. There is another bolt on this far side. Um, you guys are probably screaming at me. It's probably not a half inch, but nope. It'll be a 7 sixteenths is what it'll be. And am I correct? I am correct. That's how long I've been doing it. Um... So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Let's get this popped out. Okay, and this is the size of the bolt. Okay, just a little guy. Now this carb should pop right out of the intake, which it should. There it is. Oh, I forgot that this was unhooked. Okay, remember this spring was hooked um where was it hooked? It was hooked to this bracket. Well that should just give us enough room I think quick to come on. There. Dokey. I'm going to bolt this guy back in then this will obviously go like so right it'll obviously have to to go in like this and then be turned like this there that's how it's supposed to go then this gets bolted down I know you can't see much because I don't zoom it in on this because this is just a tear down. So this is the intake. This has all got to be cleaned up because that's how you start fires. Okay, this bracket stays. So this is all our crap now. Now, what I'm looking for, like this is all would light on fire. There is another mounting bolt there. But this all looks like it mounts from the underside of things. So... I don't feel any more bolts in here, so I'm going to try and take as much of this garbage and throw it in my garbage can so it doesn't end up all over my floor. I mean, some of it's bound to, but... Okay, so... Now, what side are we on? Carburetor side up, which is what you want. Here's that intake bolt that I needed. And that's what happens when you tip it up, and... Where's the oil leaking out of uh, that's not what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. And I knew that was going to happen. It was bound to. So we're going to have to go off the end of the table and do it that way. I don't want any oil or as little as I can get on this because... Uh, I gotta scrub it down to paint it. So make sure we didn't lose any oil. And uh, our intake should have a bunch of oil in it. No, it doesn't. It's just a breather tube does. Let's check this oil. The oil is at the full mark. That's good. So we didn't lose any oil. And we lost like a drip down here. So uh this is a fairly long part one. Sorry about that. These are long, long and drawn out videos, but it's all part of, you know, restoring something. Restoring something does not take a day, right? It takes 
quite, quite some time. So, since that side was going up, can I lay it on its back or its front? What happens if I lay it on its front? I don't see any oil dripping, so I think we're better now. Is this half inch? No, nope, that's bigger. So I might have to plug in a different impact. Um, so we got to pop this blade off and then we got to pop out, um, it looks like just two mounting bolts. No, three mounting bolts and then this whole engine pops off. Um, let's see if I can get it with this wrench. Dripping oil, we're not dripping oil. So I'm going to set up a um, a stopper, okay, just like that, so that I'm able to hold it up. What I did was put my um, I put my um, hammer here at the back. And if it fell forward, it's going right on top of you, so you better, better be careful. This is not probably going to be good. No, I need a, an impact. And the hammer keeps falling here. Okay. So, I do have a bigger impact if I can find it, or just find a bigger... Um, a really big in for it here. It's 15 mil, but I need the super big one. This is an 18. So I can't find my mid sized uh, drill insert um, for. Oh, here it is. It was it was just sitting right here. Okay, well then we are in luck. Okay, that's perfect then. Um, that's perfect then. Okay, we just need to find a 15 mil, which we got. No, I don't said it wasn't 15 mil, but 15 mil can be seven eighths or um, seven mil is 96 tenths. You know, just keep that in the back of your mind. So, alrighty, let's go and take this I should actually leave all of this stuff I got out right now I keep putting my tools away sorry for going in front of you I keep putting my tools away but I gotta leave them out till you know we get to putting her back in to pop this out see if I get enough power I don't know why my camera stopped there. It always does that at that right around that 20 minute mark. It'll just stop. But uh, yeah. I don't know. Penetrate Noel. Let's see what that gets us. Need to put something in here to block. That's why you gotta be careful. Safety's number one priority. Again. Don't do what I do. All right, my job's uh, or the way I do my job isn't safe, so don't. No, I gotta break it loose with a wrench. But uh, definitely cleaned off the um um what you would call it thing there. See. 
I can get it to, to break loose with a wrench. Uh, lefty loosey ready tidy kind of thing. I think, did I get it to move that easy? No, my wrench is a little bit too big. I need a slightly 9 16 wrench. Which I have. Yeah, that's tight. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to steal my hammer so I don't know what I'm going to use now to hold this thing up. Um, I do have this wire brush which I can put in its place and come on. What the dickens. Okay. I got movement out of it, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I did. I think I'm getting movement. I don't know how to properly hold this so that it doesn't move. You guys are still going. We're like 30 minutes in trying to break this one freaking bolt out. Thank you guys all for watching. Um, I guess I should probably take safety more seriously around here and. Uh, See if um, we should do some safety videos, proper shop safety videos, and you know, because that was one thing I was taught right from day one was shop safety. Do you think I use it today? Absolutely not. Should I be? Absolutely. Should you be taking this advice from me? Yes, the advice, but no, not shop safety. I have a very bad lack of shop safety. Okay, I'm tempted, and I know I'm not going to cut this plate, I don't think, but I'm tempted just to grab my grinder and just buzz this blade off and then uh, put a new, because the blade needs, it needs a new blade anyway. So, I might do that and just pop this blade off in two sections and then I can uh, pop this blade out at a on another date um, okay so I'm gonna get this set up and get grinder set up and we'll get grinding now another thing too I got this is it I'm in my bus I got proper ventilation the doors open it's you know it's warm er outside sorry I just gotta plug in my angle grinder that's why you're moving so bad Okay, we're going to cut here and here. Make sure that this is solid enough. So close, but I just gotta get this set right and uh, get this side cut off. Close though.
that can be turned in and welded for something. That'll stay. Alright, I gotta move you guys around here and so that I can be on this other side and uh, still cut this. So I know it looks a little on the weight side, but I'm sorry. Okay, we're done. And uh, we gotta just pop these engine mounts just loose for now. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, we're gonna have to pop that off. So with that heat, we're gonna have to get a propane torch and we're gonna have to really heat that up. I might have to buzz the end off and then, uh, or what you do too is you can cut a channel into the bolt, take a really big flat screwdriver and pound it with a hammer and twist at the same time. And then a lot of times too, that helps enough. So if you're wondering what this is, this is your drain plug. You got this, I don't know why my camera stands so I got, I gotta clean you guys here quick. Sorry. There, you guys got metal shavings all over you. You must have had sparks. You didn't close your eyes. I told you to close your eyes. There. Well, now you can see again. Make sure you keep your eyes closed. Okay. 916s as well. Are we? Yep. Okay. So I should be able to buzz these ones out. That one's smaller. That one's smaller. This 916's one is it's really gonna put up a fight, is it? Alrighty. Can you see that? No, you can't. I'm trying to buzz this 916 bolt off here. Okay, so I'm just going to pound it like nicely with a hammer. There, it's moving. I felt it that time. Okay, that's one mounting bolt out. The rest of these are smaller. Um, look like uh, three eighths or half. No, they're not three eighths. They're probably halves. Do I have a half in here? I do. In the other half, half inch. So. Okay. Now, my shop rag can be put back. Well, I'll leave. I leave all my parts. Like obviously these. I can make a knife and stuff out of these if I wanted to, or, you know, something along those kinds of lines, right? So, I, uh, yeah. I got this, and I'm going to take a half inch um, on this far side. We're going to take and bring 
and this bolt tray is put to its max limits. It's got all holding all the bolts. Uh, let's put this on this side. Okay, again, take note, we have a lock washer behind these bolts, which somebody put, it looks like copper or different types of bolts in there for our two mounting brackets. So this one is going to be a little bit on the trickier side, mainly because I don't want it to fall out on me. So i got to be careful. Okay, it's off. This one didn't have a locking washer. Okay, so now our motor will come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip it ahead and we'll pop that bolt out. And then our motor's off. And we're on to... Um, Part two. So, where is that bolt? I don't know. We'll just pick this motor up. That's how you pull a motor off. Okay, now everything's going to be set. Okay, so if you're doing one of these restoration projects, you've got four wheels, a bolt tray full of bolts, a motor, and then a motor cover and the handles and your throttle and all that junk. So we still got a little bit of 100 year old junk here that's gonna go in my garbage can, which is pretty amazing. Okay, now, on to part two. Thank you all for watching this. I enjoyed hanging out with you. Hopefully you did the same. Um, off camera, I think I'm probably going to just pop these off so that they don't get painted if they can pop off down below. Pop them off and then we'll come back for part two and uh, we'll get to grinding and see if we can find any cracks. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.